please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome back, seniors. Only 16 more school days. Today you'll hear about library books being due soon, May Mester, summer marching band practices, sad statistics, and summer sports results from last night. But for now, it's time for weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. I'm going to try to do weather as fast, but as slow as possible because it's about to rain. Anyways, it's currently 71 degrees, and at lunch, it's going to be 67, and at 3, it's going to be 72. It's going to be like this all day today and all day tomorrow, but don't worry. For prom, it's going to be partly cloudy, so you're still going to get some sun sunshine for prom. And Mr. Heinz, um, I love what you do. I uh, love what you do because you make our days uh, better every single day with uh, you being at the doorway saying uh, welcome to high school how are you guys doing because um, it makes a big difference to our days back to the studio before we get into stories we have a video to thank and appreciate our wonderful administration staff what? thank you Mr. Hines for greeting us every morning and for asking us how we're doing Thank you, Mr. Nehas, for supporting the athletic program. Thank you, Mr. Hines, for supporting me. Thank you, Mr. Nehas, for organizing every sporting event. And being at every single one. Thank you, Mrs. Long, for being a kind person. And always putting students first. Thank you, Mr. Hines, for your warm greeting every morning. I appreciate it. I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Edwards for uh, just coming in here and being a wonderful principal and uh, making school fun for me the past four years. All library books will be due by Tuesday, May 8th. Please check at home, your locker, and your book bag for lost and missing books. If you are unsure, come by and see Mrs. Holden or Mrs. Willoughby to check if you have any books checked out. You will be responsible for the cost of any missing books not returned. Attention students, are you behind with credits? You have the opportunity to come to school and earn them online from 3 to 6 p.m. each day. This opportunity will only last until May 18th. There is no bus transportation, but we hope you will find a way to make this opportunity work for you. See guidance counselors with any questions. Summer marching band practices start next Tuesday and Thursday, May 8th and 10th from 4 to 5.30 in the band room. All students signed up for band next year must attend. The 40th annual Flora Hog Jog is Saturday, June 16th. The registration fee is $20 and registration will close June 13th. Applications for the 2018-2019 Frankfurt DECA Leadership Team are due tomorrow. See Mrs. Bishop with any questions. Also, don't forget to purchase your prom tickets at the bookstore for $25 and fill out your permission slip. Prom is this Saturday, May 5th at the Purdue North Ballroom. Now we have some facts about teen driving and cell phone use brought to you by SAD. Every 15 minutes, a teenager dies from distracted driving. Cell phone usage while driving leads to 1.6 million crashes each year, resulting in nearly 330,000 injuries. 5,864 teen drivers ages 15 to 20 are involved in fatal crashes. An average of teen of dies every day from motor vehicle injuries. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading causes of the death for U.S. teens. Don't be a statistic. Put away the phone and avoid other distractions. It's now time for sports with Nick. The varsity baseball team completed the sweep over Southmont last night by a score of 4-3. to three. Christian Lopez drove in the waiting run in the bottom of the seventh for the walk-off hit. Jose Sandoval hit his third home run of the series, and Christian Lopez ended up getting the win. In JV baseball action last night, the Hot Dogs had a great come-from-behind victory over Lebanon. Compared to the previous slugfest, this game was more about pitching and defense. Adric Mounts had the game winning hit with a ground rule double that ended up knocking in two runs. Next game for the JV is a double header on Saturday versus Western. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. 
Registration papers are available in the bookstore. We now have a special segment from the man, the myth, and the legend himself, Dallas. Hi everybody, and we have a very special segment of HGTV today. We're talking about Stride for Stacy and with your local celebrity, Dallas, or Forrest Dallas. Welcome, Forrest. Thanks for having me, Dallas. Hmm. So, so Forrest, uh, I really like the beard, and you Thanks. haven't had time to shave it off. Uh, I'm not actually going to shave it, I'm going to hmm. keep it. So how's the training been going? Training's going really well, I've been working really hard. Make sure you sign up for Strides for Stacy, by the way. It's all make sure you, make sure... Are you kidding me? I worked all this hard for... For this bull crap? Well, why are you just sit why are you just sitting there drink, drinking water? I worked all this hard. I worked all hard. Thanks, Dallas. Reminder that the AP exams begin next week. Be prepared and check your emails to see the schedules. That's all for the daily announcements. Remember to drive safe and have a lovely Thursday. Production. <clears throat> the goosebumps.